Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Tuesday, January 5th. Uh, as you can see, yesterday we had that huge rally uh, that we called in the Sunday video. No real surprises there. Nice upside on positive economic data. And then, of course, today, given the size of the uh, sell-off or rally we had yesterday, some weakness was to be expected today. We did have more positive uh, manufacturing data, which got the market off on a good foot, but then uh, the housing number came in, posted a decline in November, first time in nine months, and they briefly sold the market off on that. Uh, the November sales decline really should be no surprise to anyone. We had all that uh, worry about uh, the home buyer's tax credit expiring in November before they renewed it, and then the weather sucked in November, so there wasn't a whole lot of home buying anyway. Would look for that number to rebound. Uh, market pretty much shook it off anyway. We did have a, a midday sell-off in the market. That's when uh, Meredith Whitney, uh, the supposed guru of banks, came out and bashed uh, Goldman Sachs again, downgraded her estimates on the stock for the second time in two weeks. Um, market sort of sold off on that. So did uh, Goldman Sachs and then rallied later in the day. And actually, let's just take a look at the Goldman Sachs chart. Here you can see December 17th, this is when she came out and first downgraded her estimates for Goldman Sachs. Stock popped on that um, and yet again ran about 10% over the last two weeks. So you know her clients are getting their asses handed to them right now. So again, they come out with another uh, estimate cut and of course the stock goes higher. That's the funny thing about Wall Street. You have these uh, quotation mark gurus who managed to get one call right and then for the next 10 years they're considered you know the expert on everything and pretty much everything they say is crap so just a, a funny commentary I thought I'd throw your way looking at the daily chart um, technically um, when we had that uh, close under the 20-day exponential every time we've had that over the last several months we've seen at least a three to five day rally in the Dow we did end red today, but uh, 11 points red, especially after the size of the rally we had yesterday and the economic data is pretty much a testament to the strength in this market. So we should see uh, continued follow through tomorrow. Would not want to see another test of the 20 day. So that's what we'll be watching closely. But um, things look pretty good here. Although we have a red volume can candle today on the chart, uh, a lot of that was buying and, you know, the shorts are just continue to fight a losing battle here in my opinion at least for the near term we don't get any way worried until we see a, a significant break of the 50-day moving average which is a couple hundred points below but anyway let's jump into stock plays HYTM very nice winner for us over the last couple of days finally broke out of that flag we still haven't seen our news yet on uh, Blue Cross but uh, we've already hit our first target range where we were looking for a move at least to 65 cents the longer the news sits out there and the higher we go, the better. When news comes out, we could see a very fast spike up here to the $1 area, which is what we're looking for. Sirius, which was a trading alert yesterday and a mention in the video on Sunday. Uh, very nice move. We're up 15% on this one. Continues to run into the consumer electronics show that starts on Thursday. Uh, strong resistance here at 70 cents so if you're looking to uh, pick up a play on this one if it's able to break 70 cents would look to uh, pick up a scalp position on this one with stops at 68 cents and next target would be moved up to the 76 cent area again we're holding a small piece of this into the CES show just in case they have some big uh, earth shattering news uh, Otherwise, you know, we're just playing this chart breakout, and it looks very, very good. Ford's uh, car sales news today, very good news for uh, Sirius as well. EEE, -E -E, trading alert yesterday, $0.35 cents on the breakout chart, uh, January popper play. Very, very nice. Traded as high as $0.42 cents today. Chart looks fantastic. Uh, would look to add dips uh, back to around you know 37 cents and under first target remains 45 cents but of course you can piece some out which you should be doing on these you know spikes of 20 percent on the on the stock but the chart looks very very good here indicators are looking solid unbalanced volume just shows you the nice buying that is coming into this stock mcz you know we've been sitting patiently on this one for uh the last couple of weeks Finally got our breakout today, although it did ease on the close, but this chart is rock solid. Uh, 
50-day moving average did act as a resistance today. And, you know, the dip that we saw after the initial pop was probably traders who've been sitting on the stock for a couple of weeks, just impatient traders, can't wait around for the real gain. We should see follow-through on this one tomorrow. And we're looking for at least a move to 46 cents. 46 to 54 cents is our target on this one. Very nice volume today. And all the indicators are very solid. ADX is in a very nice uptrend now. And we should see this stock continue in the near term. ONSM, this is also a January popper play slash uh, CES play. As I mentioned in the alert, they signed a deal with uh, Trade Zone News Network uh, a couple of weeks ago. So their product could be featured very nicely uh, during the CES. And for that reason, looks very, very good. Breakout is a move above 33 cents. Uh, it actually held up pretty decently today. Any sort of news on a volume spike, and this one is off to the races. But for now, we're just targeting a move to $0.40, cents depending on news. We did get RSI up through 50 today. ADX is strong, and Stochastic's looking great. So this one looking very, very good for the near term. HDY was a trading alert there in the last hour. Natural gas plays. We've been seeing those plays just go off over the last couple of days since that big... Uh, investment uh, in chesapeake bay this one uh, breakout is a move above one uh, we've of course got finance or sellers this is a no debt exploration company very very rare we had ftk up huge today dptr has been up pretty big over the last couple of days this one has very nice support at 85 cents the next break over one should set it free and we'll be looking for a move to a dollar 20 on this one but uh you know we had a Possibly a short moving into this one late in the day, but very, very nice volume, and we'd be very surprised if we don't see uh, an up move on this one tomorrow. WSTL January popper play we've been patiently sitting on, uh, traded as high as $1.35 today. Almost a 20% game, which is what we've been looking for. Uh, it's happened the last three Januaries. Looks like, again, it's going to post a nice positive move. Chart looks very, very nice. Had a little rest today. Would like to see this one follow through back into the dollar thirties tomorrow. But our, our new play off the move we saw on WSTL is IFON. This is another profitable player in the wireless market. Uh, had a breakout today at a dollar ten. Would look to add this one one fifteen and under. And target is a move to a dollar thirty to a dollar forty. This is also a play on CES. Kind of, you know, they're there. They've got a smart TV phone. But really, this is a January popper play. It's been beaten down over the last several weeks. Has cash, makes money, perfect January popper candidate. RSI up through 50. We also had a positive MACD cross today. Um, and stochastics are breaking up through 50. So this one looks very, very good for the next couple of days. LLOK, our other January popper play, got above the 50-day uh, moving average today, which is pretty significant. And we're, again, we're looking for a move to a dollar twenty plus on this one. ENCO, uh, patiently waiting on this one. It keeps breaking out above thirty, and then the scalpers come in and push it back down. But uh, the longer this one hangs out here, the bigger the move is going to be. A close above thirty cents will light this candle and we're looking for a move to 40 to 50 cents plus depending on news indicators all look very very good here so it's just a matter of when this one goes not if in my opinion last but not least quick mention on bnx tax season has started these guys are a big player in the tax preparer preparer uh, segment uh, they've put a lot of effort into emphasizing that on their new site these guys make money chart looks very very good and you know these tax plays tend to run now into february not in april like you would think the run is now uh and it looks like this one is starting to prep for that a break above 30 will set this one free and the tax sellers from last week should be all gone here would be looking to add this one 25 cents and under and a break over 30 we could see a nice little run on this one to uh 40 cents in the near term so that's pretty much it for the video. I will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.